Hey guys, so now everybody is talking about uh, agentic workflows. Uh, it's the new buzzword in the AI world um, and for all the good reasons. It's not actually new. It's been there for several months now. Uh, so imagine systems that don't just respond, but reason, retrieve and act on your behalf. Uh, so in this hands-on guide, uh, we're building a simple agentic workflow from scratch. So what we're going to do is like, uh, we're going to take a dense PDF document and turn it into an intelligent conversational interface. Uh, no more manual control F or jumping between pages. Just you can ask your question and get an inform, informed context aware response. So that's what we're going to build. And uh, in this uh, tutorial, we're going to use uh, unstructured, uh, no code platform to extract high quality content from the real world PDFs. I'm going to use a PDF file that is publicly available. And uh, we are, we are going to use single store to store both raw and vectorized data. And uh, Langchain, as you all know, is um, is the open source LLM framework to create a retrieval QA agent that can talk to your data. So we're going to use these three platforms. Uh, so it's an end-to-end -end agentic workflow, a simple workflow, uh, blending document parsing, vector search, and natural language understanding into a seamless loop. Uh, so whether you are building internal tools, uh, document co-pilots or uh, knowledge bots, this is how modern AI workflows come to life. So let's dive in and try to understand first what is an agentic workflow, right? So an agentic workflow is a system where autonomous AI agents perform tasks in a goal-oriented, uh, goal-driven, context-aware manner. So not just reacting to prompts, but reasoning, deciding and acting through a structured process. So Agentic workflows pro follow a structured process because here, uh, maybe one agent or there can be more AI agents come together to perform uh, the, to solve a complex problem. So once a user query comes in with a complex problem, so the, the query gets split into subtasks and each AI agent gets each of the tasks to perform and uh, they come up with their own responses and uh, that's how they collaboratively work together in the agentic workflow unlike traditional scripts or pipelines that uh, pipelines that follow rigid rules agentic workflows are built on top of llms tools and memory that's why they are more powerful so these workflows basically can observe think plan and act almost like human assistants right um, and uh, so you are no longer uh, just calling an API to extract text or summarize content, but you're actually orchestrating a network of intelligent behaviors that adapt based on the data and the task. So that's how powerful agentic workflows are. Let's take a simple uh, example. Um, as you can see in the screen, right? Um, a simple agentic workflow um, example, the use case. An agentic workflow basically begins when a user provides inputs like plan my trip to Paris or Germany, Germany, uh, which then triggers the agent's planning phase where it breaks down the complex, re uh, complex request into manageable subtasks, such as finding flights, booking uh, accommodations, hotels, and identifying the nearby attractions. The agent then enters a decision-making process where, where it evaluates what action to take next followed by tool selection where it chooses the most appropriate tool or resource from its available toolkit whether that 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 is web search for current uh, flight prices api calls to booking services or accessing stored travel data so once a tool is selected the agent executes the action and collects the results which it then analyzes to determine the quality and relevance of the informed information gathered basically. So throughout this process, uh, the agent continuously updates its uh, memory and context with new information, building a comprehensive understanding of the task at hand because it should know what is happening and how it should also know the context and memory should be, should be, uh, should keep updating the memory because um, it should know where, what the last response was and how each agent is doing and each agent's response it should know. So after each action, the agent performs a goal check to assess whether the original objective has been fully satisfied. And if not, it, it loops back, it iterates loops back to the planning phase uh, with its enriched context to determine the next necessary steps. 
uh, continuing this uh, iterative cycle until it has gathered in enough information to deliver a complete actionable travel plan to the user. So this is how uh, agentic workflows uh, basically work. And uh, let's see this in action uh, through our simple tutorial. Hey guys, so as you can see, this is the whole architecture of what we are building, agentic PDF intelligence system. So it all starts with uh, uploading a PDF document that I have, a publicly available PDF file, uh, which is then processed using unstructured, uh, no code platform to extract and segment meaningful chunks of text. These chunks are first actually cleaned and then stored in a single store for uh, raw query access. And simultaneously, vector embeddings are generated using OpenAI embeddings and uh, they are again stored in single store vector store. And uh, a Langchain powered QA agent connects to the vector store to enable intelligent retrieval. And finally, user can easily interact with our system uh, asking questions and uh, uh, he will receive contextually relevant responses, right? Completing the loop of an autonomous searchable knowledge system. So this is what we will see uh, in, the, in the tutorial. Hey guys, so here is the complete code of our agentic PDF intelligence system. Uh, so as you can see, there is a dot env file where my open AI API key and uh, single store DB URL is uh, mentioned. And uh, this is the uh, env stats India 2024 PDF file that I'm using. Uh, it's a publicly available PDF file. You can just search for that. Uh, env stats uh, India 2024 PDF. Okay. And uh, I'm going to share anyhow, I'm going to share the uh, repo link in the description of this video so that you can access this PDF file and uh, completely understand how this whole uh, agentic intelligence system basically works. And this is our main.py, the, the whole uh, uh, logic is present in this. Uh, first, we are, uh, you know, importing the required uh, libraries, uh, the Langchain community embeddings and uh, since we are using Langchain and also we are using unstructured uh, and uh, we are loading the environment variables uh, from our .env file and uh, we are extracting the configs um, as you can see here and uh, we are making sure all the API keys are right. Okay, and then uh, we are passing the document and we are cleaning each chunk of the document and uh, we are storing the raw text in our uh, database that is single store. And then uh, we are also storing the embeddings uh, of the chunks in our vector store that is single store, okay? Uh, so after that, we are querying the agent loop uh, by asking a question like, uh, you can ask your question and then it will answer back to you. And uh, this is the main execution. Uh, this is the file path. We are basically creating a simple agent here, okay? And uh, let's see how this basically runs. Uh, let's try with uh, Python main.py. So <clears throat> once you start, uh, it will first read the document um, and uh, it will create the chunks, uh, create the embeddings of a document. It is just doing, doing that. and. As you can see, extracted 105 valid chunks. Okay. And uh, let's wait for um, a minute and uh, the whole, um, you can actually see how it will ask us to, uh, it will ask us a question. It will make me ask a question and uh, it will give me the contextually relevant response. Okay. So now the embeddings are getting created. So let's wait for some more time. It will take some time and uh, we should be able to see now um, uh, something like ask your question and then we can chat with our PDF. Okay. As you can see, extracted 105 valid chunks, uh, inserted 105 clean chunks into SQL table um, in our uh, database, into our database. And uh, it should be, now it is basically creating embeddings of 
um, the chunks uh, and uh, so that when we ask a question it will go through the vector store to find the relevant chunks and uh, answer back okay so it should be done uh, in a while and uh, it will um, we can actually ask a question so let's wait for one more uh, one more minute right yeah as you can see right ask questions about the document type exit or quit so let us ask like what uh, the uh, what the document is all about let's see what the document is all about as you can see the document as you can see the answer the response the document contains information related to the environment and is intended to enhance public access to such information uh, it is based on data from various ministries departments government agencies uh, blah 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 the national statistics office nso has compiled this information next question let us ask like who are the officers uh, associated with uh, this um, publication so this data is actually present in the pdf file amazing so answer the officers associated with the associated with the publication are shri nk santoshi director general shri subhash chandra malik additional director general blah 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 sudip ghosh director so let us ask what is uh, one more question so can you tell me what the chapter 4 in the pdf file is all about so there are chop chapters mentioned in the pdf file so chapter 4 in the pdf file is about the soil nutrient index it highlights the importance of soil as the foundation of uh, uh, terrestrial ecosystem agricultural services so as you can see you can ask numerous questions from your pdf and it will basically fetch the proper responses back and all these responses are stored actually all the uh, actually all our content the chunks in the form of embeddings are stored in our vector store let me show you how the embeddings are stored in our vector store okay hey guys so this is what we saw a uh, complete code of how our uh, agentic system smart uh, intelligent agentic system works and uh, we also saw the main.py and uh, this is our .env file where we will add our open ai api key uh, single store db url and this is where you mention your admin password host url port that is uh, default 33306 and the database name so this is the database name unstructured so let me show you how you can create a database on single store okay So go to singlestore.com. Singlestore has a free share tier. You can just uh, sign up and sign in. You will get some free credits. So once you sign in to Singlestore, uh, this is the dashboard you will see. You will have a workspace. If you don't have a workspace, create one for yourself. This is my workspace, my happy workspace. And attached to your workspace, create a database. So my database name is unstructured. I have already created that. Yeah, this is my database. Okay. So. you need to connect uh, you need to share uh, the details of your single store db url uh, in your dot env file uh, admin that is uh, by default it is admin and password you can get the password from go to sql ide and then you can get the password from here okay and then this is your host url uh, this is your port by default and username so you all these are the four things you need and uh, save it and uh, you can just uh, start your application okay save and start your application and uh, let's uh, let me show you how the data has been stored in our uh, database okay this is unstructured as you can see documents and also is embeddings sample data all over pdf ka everything got chunked and it is stored in the form of vector embeddings in, on our database in the uh, this is the table name embeddings and it is stored like this as you can see this is the vector, vector embedding format right all the content from that pdf file stored like this so 
go to singlestore.com sign up sign in uh, and uh, try using single store for all your upcoming rag and ai applications and i'm going to share the link of the repo of what we just uh, saw the smart agentic pdf uh, system uh, intelligent system in the description of this video so that you can just go through and try it all by yourself thanks